These are what the FGH turn signal switches look like. They're slightly different year to year. Uh, you can see some of these have got nuts and studs and some don't. Uh, the early 60s had a very slender shaft and that was changed to a wider shaft because they found they, they bent. But this is the wiring bundle that will come off of it. And what do we got? Eight connectors. So we should be able to find eight connectors up onto the dashboard. I took off the, the brake pedal just so I got more room to fuss around down here. That's the headlight switch loose and dangling because we're also going to get that repaired. But we get up under the dash and start looking for wiring. And there it is, back in there. As I remember, these are very difficult to separate, male to female. After all these years of being stuck together, they do not want to come apart. But my thought is, if I can separate that connector, I can swap in another turn signal switch and see if that doesn't solve my blinker problem. I'll be back. So here we have a spare switch plumbed in. If you're gonna do this, you have to ground the switch in order for the electromagnet to hold. So, Let's see. And for the first time, we have rear turn signal driver. Well, that tells me you are the problem. Let's just make sure. There's passenger side. So, the test tells me it is the turn signal switch that's got to come out. And there's the cancel working. How nice. So, removing this switch is not the easiest thing. Actually, removal is not too bad. It's re reinstallation. I'll be back. By the way, the Allen stretch for this retaining nut. 3.30 seconds. That way you don't have to go through the whole pile. 3.30 seconds. And we're under the dash. If you take off this triangular plate under the Astrodome, you will find you've got more visual opportunity to see where you're trying to work. there under the transmission buttons you see the turn signal switch which in this case 
is anchored by a Phillips screw. Okay, uh, still struggling for access here. Don Verity suggested just remove the push button assembly. Two little 3 8 nuts, then it pushes back, and that will give you more access. The problem I'm having is reaching the Phillips head screw that is over here on the back side. And the reason I'm not sh showing it to you under the dash is <laughs> you can't get there from here. Well, I'll tell you, I just about ran out of swear words before I got this job done. Very difficult job on a 60. There are two Phillips head screws here and here. They changed that. I think in 61, certainly by 62, so that there are studs, and then, but this screw, which would have been back in here, was tight, and you could barely get on it. I ended up having to tape a Phillips onto the ratchet wrench. And then, trying to snake this thing out from under the dash, these wings would snag on every wire it could find. So, this is the job why God invented alcohol. So there's my new rebuilt switch. Jeff Carter did that. Test it before you install it. Installation is not going to be easy. It's not going to be pretty. Test it before. I just did. It worked fine. To finish up the turn signal project, I have the new replacement turn signal switch installed. There's the front blinking, and for the first time we have the rear blinking. So the problem was indeed with the turn signal switch. Moving on.